I talked about that, was uh, adding in a reverse mortgage line of credit as a third bucket. So the only time we borrow from that is that one instance when the cash account went to zero. The other problem we wanted to, that I mentioned that we wanted to uh, bypass was opportunity cost. So rather than having two years of cash in the cash account, we'd like to drop that to six months. And the reason for that is we have a you know, liquid, readily available source of cash within that line of credit. So this was an interesting time in the research, but we had to define when we wanted to borrow and when we wanted to pay it back. So we started with returns. If last year's returns were negative, we'd borrow. If they were positive, we'd pay back and so on. And you know, basically did that whole paper and then sat and thought, well, that doesn't really make any sense. And so the reason for that statement is, you know, if this is year one of retirement and the market goes up 15%, well, that's great. And next year, if it drops five, you know, using the return as the anchor, we would borrow. Well, why would we borrow? You know, if the clients could meet their goals today and the market went up 15%, they have a better chance of meeting their goals. And just because it dropped five, we're still ahead of where we needed to be in order to meet their goals. So kind of we're ahead of the game. So we wouldn't borrow, we'd sell the portfolio. Same thing, you know, if we had a loss, if rather than a 15% gain, we had a 15% loss. You know, this year we'd borrow, but if we went up five next year, you know, according to that method, we'd pay it back. Well, why would we pay it back? Because we're still behind on meeting their goals. So the portfolio size is now smaller. We're not going to be, you know, have, we have a less chance of meeting their goals than we did before. So what we ended with was creating a capital needs analysis, which, you know, from a planning perspective, we, you know, any financial planning software would create a chart that looks something like this. Now this, the blue line is where we expect the portfolio to be over time in order to pay out the orange line, which is how much, you know, every year we would take out of the portfolio. So this is probably something you've seen before. And now instead of saying, hey, are we, you know, we're returns positive or returns negative, if I think you can see my mouse on here, but, you know, if we're at year one, well, we want to be at $500,000. If we're above it, then we'll sell the portfolio if we have to. If we're below, we'll borrow from the line of credit and pay it back when it gets back above our blue line. 